So today we are going to discuss the axis of injury potential and its plot time with the help of J point. This lecture is in continuation with our previous lectures on current of injury. We have previously discussed the current of injury and we have discussed the plotting of the normal cardiac vector and the plotting of the vector for the current of injury. We have also discussed in the last lecture about J point and zero reference line. Today we are going to discuss the calculation of voltage of injury potential and we are also going to discuss the plotting of axis for injury potential with the help of J point. Previously we have discussed that when the depolarization of the normal heart starts, it starts from the septum, the initial plotting when done on different three bipolar limb leads, lead 1, lead 2 and lead 3, it gives rise, rise to a small vector. When the depolarization spreads, the depolarization process, the vector increases. When the whole of the depolarization heart has been depolarized, then the vector which was initially towards the downside, it has turned toward the base of the heart. So the size of the vector, the size of the QRS complex and the size of the vector on different leads, it starts decreasing. And at the end of the depolarization on different lead, a different appearance of the QRS complex has been formed slightly different on lead one, lead two and lead three. Then we discussed the vector analysis for the current of injury, the plotting. And we discussed that when the, there is a current of injury, some area of the heart remains partially or completely depolarized and there is a current flow present even between the heart beats and it is present all the time. And when the depolarization starts, it is not starting from the zero reference line. Here it starts starting from the zero reference line in the current of injury, it is not starting from the zero reference line. So when the current of injury basically starts, the vector is slightly deviated. Normally, in the normal situation, it is directed towards 59 degree. In this example, with current of injury in the left ventricle, this current of injury was basically present in the left ventricle. So the negative, the base of the vector, the base of the vector, the base of the vector is towards the negative side and that negative side on the left side of the heart. So it is directed slightly rightward with its negative base toward the negative side or the side of the current of injury. That's why, that's why the initial presentation was somewhat below the zero reference line and different from the normal vector. Then when depolarization, normal depolarization started, it also proceeded and it, it depolarized the whole of the myocardium, which led to the formation of a specific QRS complex in a heart with current of injury on the left ventricle. And when we plotted the vector for the normal heart, we came to know that the vector of the normal heart is about 59 degree and it is more directed in the direction of lead 2 but in this specific example the with current of injury on the left side when the plotting of vector was done the vector was slightly rotated towards the right side about 125 degree it was slightly rotated towards the right side because its base was towards the left side because the current of injury was present on the left side and when the plotting was done the mean vector calculated when calculated was basically present at 125 degree and the and the the shape of the QRS complex was such that QRS complex of the lead one was present below the zero reference line and QRS complex of the lead three was present above the zero reference line. 
Now here we have another a third example. And in this example we are not going not only going to discuss and calculate the vector we are also going to discuss its the way of its calculation. So we discuss the the j point a point when the whole of the heart has been depolarized and there is no flow of current even in the presence of current of injury. So that point is the the, the point at which depolarization the QRS depolarization has completed is basically considered as the J point and when the J points of different QRS complexes on that specific leads are connected with the horizontal line that is known as the zero reference line up to this point we have already discussed these things in detail in previous lectures now we are going to discuss the voltage the calculate we are going to discuss the calculation of voltage for the injury potential once the j point has been calculated and a horizontal line has been drawn then we will see the voltage of the current of injury the point the area from this from the start from the end of the QRS complex or from the J point the area from the J point till the start of the P wave is basically the voltage this area is basically known as the voltage of the current of injury and for this specific lead here the area between the, the J point and start of the P wave this is known as basically the voltage of the current of injury this current of injury it could be present above the zero reference line or it could be present below the zero reference line here is the zero reference line and the current of injury starting from the J till the start of the P wave the P wave is the point where new wave is forming so from the the j point till the start of the new new p wave this area is the current of injury which should not normally should not be present so how it's calculated it's calculated by drawing a horizontal line that's that connects the j points for all the complexes all the qrs complexes on that specific lead so this is the calculation of j point on lead one for this specific example and this is calculation of j point for lead three in this specific example here the tp segment the tp segment it is basically the present above the zero reference line here in lead three it is present in the below the zero reference line if we see if we compare this example with with the current of injury in this example we see here that in lead one the voltage was present below the zero reference line but here it's present above the zero reference line similarly in lead three if we see the QRS complex the voltage was present above the zero reference line but here it is present below the zero reference line so when vector analysis is done for this this QRS complex, this specific ECG strip for this lead 1 and lead 3, the final vector it will be shifted towards the left side. Here the final vector was shifted towards the right side. Here it was it was shifted towards the right side and the base, the, the negative end of the vector was towards the left side because the current of injury was on the left part of the um, ventricle here if the calculations are done the vector is shifted towards the right side and its base is towards the, uh, the the vector is shifted toward the left and the base the negative end is toward the right side so the current of injury will be present somewhere on the right side so that's how we can calculate the point of current of injury from the 
appearance of the QRS complex in different bipolar limb leads and the presence of current of injury above or below the reference zero reference line with the help of J point in TP7. So that, that's a little bit complicated but if we summarize it again normally the depolarization of the heart starts from the septum it start it spreads towards the whole heart the vector is initially downward di directed and when the depolarization spreading it's it shift toward the base of the heart initially the depolarization vector is increasing and then when the whole of the heart has been depolarized it comes again to the zero reference line it starts from the zero and it comes again to the zero it starts from the zero and it comes again to the zero it started from zero when there was no depolarization and it has come again when the whole of the heart has been depolarized when current of injury is present these depolarization vector starts below the zero reference line or above the zero reference line now whether these currents will be present above or below the zero reference line in any lead like it will be present below the reference line in lead one or above the reference line in lead one similarly whether it will be present above the reference line in lead three or below the reference line in lead lead three it will depend upon the area in which the current of injury is located in these two examples we saw that if the current of injury is on the left side the QRS complexes the vector the QRS is basically present below the zero reference line in lead 1 and above the zero reference line in lead 3 above the zero reference line in lead 3 if the current of injury is on the right side then the vector is shifted toward the left and the its negative base is toward the negative current of injury area which is on the right side and the the current of injury is present above the zero reference line in lead one in lead one and it is present below the zero reference line in lead three that is opposite to that of this specific example so that's all about plotting the axis of injury potential and it's plotting with the help of J point. Thanks a lot for watching the video.